Kay was in her mid-twenties when she was first told she had cancer. She was diagnosed with leiomyosarcoma, a very dangerous form of sarcoma. Not exactly what you want to hear in your mid-twenties. To make matters worse, she was recently divorced, she had three children, and she was living alone. Her expenses were piling up. Kay had cancer in every major organ in her body. And for seven years, she knocked on every hospital door in the area, exhausted every angle. She even traveled to a prestigious cancer center in Houston, where she was told that if she didn't have an operation on her heart, she didn't have long to live. The doctor asked her if she had her affairs in order. What followed was an aggressive form of chemotherapy. She was given MAID, which came in a backpack, which was cumbersome, had an odd smell, and this odd sound that would go off every minute or so, reminding her that she was taking treatment. It wasn't fun. She once stated in an hour of desperation that all she really wanted to do was see her three kids graduate. And that was 15 years ago. Not only did she see her kids graduate, she has one, but two new additions to her family. Now all this couldn't have been possible without funding and help. And that's where we're going to jump in. Join me on June 12th for the Cancer Can Suck It World Cup event at the Sky Music Lounge at the corner of Kerr's Mill and Clayton Road. The idea will be to raise $20,000 in four hours. Now I know $20,000 is an ambitious goal, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. Listen, no one's given the U.S. much of a chance against England, but in 1950 they beat them. And that doctor who said to Kay that she might have to get her affairs in order? Those must be the affairs he was talking about. We can beat this thing. But I do need your help. Thank you.